I mean, these days you see some people's Instagram profile, for instance, and you feel like ah, this girl, a ah, picture is like, ah, it's hot though, like, ah. Uh, how is she doing this? Miss, if I have background, I have iPhone, but my pictures are not looking like this. Well, it's because of how they edit their pictures. So, guys, if you want to get that fire bomb hot pictures for your social media platforms, this is where to be. Keep watching as I will be joined shortly by my guest. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elesho Miyasuralua and it's good to have you return to my channel to be a part of interesting conversation. You already know that my channel is about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, tips, acts and everything I find interesting as well as reviews. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe and be a part of the journey. <laughs> guys, today on my channel, I'm going to be joined by someone who is going to take us through on a very quick tutorial something that is quietly trending at the moment I know this is something a lot of people want to know about it's about how to get that bomb pictures for your social media platforms Instagram Facebook anywhere you want it just make sure you get that bomb picture that hot picture that cute picture that will be joined by someone who will take us through a tutorial and as well talk to us or talk us through the process a tutorial on how to edit your pictures using Lightroom so guys if you want to get that fire bomb hot pictures for your social media platforms this is where to be keep watching as I will be joined shortly by my guest so the name of my guest is Ebuan Rule and she is someone I really really love she's a young lady doing so well for herself recently I was just going through her social media platform and I'm like ah, ah, why does it look like all the pictures are the same yet they are not snapped in the same place so I had to reach out to her and I'm like Ebu come and tell me what is really going on here I knew she was using a preset but that was the first thing I asked her are you using a preset from Lightroom because I like the preset this is what her platform looks like and she was like yes that she's using a preset and I'm like I think I like it although I know that the preset might not directly work for me but take me through how you edit your pictures and she was so gracious to have done that so she's going to be here to talk to us Ebon how are you doing today? Fine, I'm very good. Thank you. Good to have it's you good join to us. Be on a show with talking more. I'm yeah thank you very much before you joined me i was talking about the struggles so many people go through to have hot pictures for their social media platforms it's not because they don't have good background it's not because they don't have good phones but somehow they just take pictures and it's like everything is not jelly like some other people's pictures and then i decided to bring you and we had this conversation and you know i was just wondering right what do you think is really the problem and why do you think or what do you think people are not doing right to get those kind of pictures they really want to get well, there's something called um, um, aesthetics, beauty of your page. And in a way, it, it's what makes your page more appealing now. So it gives, when your pictures have a certain theme or they are well edited, it makes people um, more attracted to your page. So imagine I, I come to your page and then your pictures are just looking very shabby. Like, I really won't want to check on more pictures or like or anything so I think it's, um, it's really important because it draws attention to your page and it makes you look more like um, a very organized person because you have a particular theme that you're following. And then I would sometimes, like if I, for instance, before I learned how to do it, I had some people's pages that were just, just like when so they nice. Pictures. And then I'll go to their page and I'll see that like everything has the same um, um, edit. And then it just makes their page look so beautiful. So I'm like, I want to, I want to take pictures like this. I want to have um, a beautiful looking page. So it makes people even want to um, relate with your page more often. Do you get? Because people always want to go to your page for ideas interesting you know while we're talking about the application we're about to review i did talk about the fact that i've always known lightroom for a very long time i mean i'm in the media space and i take pictures with my digital camera and it's edited on lightroom for me you know i've always known about lightroom but the thing is i probably took it for granted and i did not try to explore the phone version so sometimes when i'm not taking pictures with my digital camera it's like i'm not getting bomb pictures so i take pictures on my phone and you can definitely tell that it's different from digital camera and I'm probably trying to edit it or lighten it up with Instagram filter, which doesn't do justice. So yeah, I think I took Lightroom on the phone for granted and I was so glad that I decided to take the challenge to learn Lightroom, right? So how easy, how, how easy do you think it is to make use of Lightroom on the phone? Um, so like you said, 
if I had someone that is take my pictures for me every time and edit for me and give me those sharp looking nice pictures, like I would probably not find the need. But then if you actually <laughs> think about it, it feels good. I mean, look at when you tried it the first time and it felt really good mm. when you saw your before and the after. So it's um, having a skill like that is really important because sometimes you might not necessarily have that person that used to help you. Sometimes you might not have your DC camera or whatever um, handy. And then, okay, or you have to post something and then the person that's only helping you is delaying or something. You, you have to like have a backup plan. And then there's a joy that comes with doing things by yourself when yeah. you see um, the products of what you've done. You know? Oh my God, I actually edited this picture very well in Nipstone. I remember how excited I was to learn how to use Lightroom. And the, the truth is like, a lot of people have Lightroom on their um, phones. Like when people told me that uh, they use Lightroom to edit their pictures. And then I downloaded the app and I saw it, but like my pictures were still looking whack. Because I was even using the in presets. And then I was wondering, like, what exactly is the problem? Why is my own not looking like that? So it's important to actually develop these skills, like know how to actually use the app to achieve, like, desired results. You did mention that I was really excited to see the outcome of my first Lightroom trial. And I'm sure you, wanted, you, you want to see what she's talking about when she said that. Well, this is a picture I tried for the first time to edit with Lightroom. I mean, with my phone, the picture was really dark and uh, it wasn't popping. But when I tried out Lightroom, I was able to pop out the colors and everything. And I think I really liked the outcome. So that's what she was referring to when she said I was excited to use Lightroom. Yeah, but so I think we should just get to the tutorial now. We'll come back to talk some more, but let's check out the tutorial you made for us and allow people see for themselves how Lightroom can help them transform their pictures. We'll come back very shortly to continue the conversation. Thank you so much for being here. Watch the tutorial and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to be working on the cold stone photo, the pictures I took. So let's just check the original pictures. So here, these are like the original pictures I took. Um, most importantly, when you cannot edit a bad picture, it won't still look nice so you like right from taking the picture you have to be very conscious so you have to like have sufficient light first that's why i went outside and took the picture in my garden so i'll open my lightroom and i'll import the picture this is the original picture yeah so um yeah so um basically i have presets that I like I created so for every time I edit a picture I save save the presets I save it as presets so when I made mask um, I said I saved the editing so that like any amount to edit any other picture like I can just instead of editing from the scratch I can just pick one of my presets but let me show you how to edit from the scratch so that you can do yours and create your own presets so we're going to start from um, the light. Basically, there are really important things: light, color, and effects. Um, so we we'll start from light. Um, I'm going to reduce my exposure a little bit. Um, let me just. So you can see it at the top here, like how how much I'm reducing. So let's leave it as. Uh, Mm. Okay, I'll leave it as minus 44. I'll increase my contrast a bit, just a bit. Then, um, my highlight, I'm going to reduce the highlights so that, um, I highlight so that, um, I just don't want too much in my picture yeah then I'm um, for my shadows I'm gonna leave my shadows the way it is I like to reduce my whites and increase my blacks except for like exceptional cases but let's see how this one plays out so I'm reducing it all the way um, okay let's do 90 yeah or oh, 91 um then i'll increase my black a little bit yeah i hope you're seeing the difference already okay so let's move to color 
so this is the, this is like the main part of it you can adjust any color and like adjust it anyhow you want to so i'm not going to tamper with the temperature today because i think i like the feel of it if i in, if i reduce it it changes the color if i increase it you know so i'm just gonna leave it as zero i'm gonna reduce my tint a little bit um then um add a little bit of vibrance to it make it super. then um well increase my saturation a little bit just a little bit um yeah so now we haven't still gotten what we want right so i'm going to go to my color mix a lot of people don't know that they can you know work with the colors from here so let's start from the first color which is red i'm going to increase the saturation of my red a little bit so that the red can pop and reduce the hue a little bit yeah then um i move to my orange color i would increase my orange the saturation of my orange so that it can pop basically this is where you can either pop colors or reduce colors uh, i don't really want my green to be so green so um and you know of course the leaves are made up of like two basic colors green and yellow basically so to work on the leaves um i'll reduce the saturation of my yellow have you seen the highlights on the um edges of the green which is yellow i've reduced so I'm reducing my yellow all the way. Okay, that's fine. Then um, I move to my green. And I'm just going to reduce my green as well. All the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like it like this. So as you can see, like instead of having to do like the whole thing black and white and then start um you know there's, there's some apps that you have everything black and white then you start cleaning it off to give you the colors basically here you can just work on all your colors individually these other colors i don't know they're not really they're not here per se so um i'm just going to increase my blues a little bit There's no purple in the picture, oh, so I'm just, I can increase my pink a bit to pop my, my pink here, yeah. so I'm just going to save it. You can either leave it like this, but I, mean, I like to do a wasabi, so I'm just going to save. I'll just go to my camera roll and you know, here. Welcome back guys. I'm sure you're blown like wow. So it's this easy. Yes, it's that easy And it was that to take us through the process I mean you can edit your pictures save the preset and use it again for your pictures And before you know it you start to get that bomb pictures that you want for your social media platform So yeah, Ebon, what will you say to people who are still you know in doubt of the necessity of having great pictures for their social media platform? I would say that it's mm -hmm. important that you actually have good pictures on your page because like i said earlier on it gives your page some sort of appealing um aura you know people come to your page imagine you walk into someone's apartment i walk into someone's house and then everything seems very disorganized so this place looks like it's really light this place is like really dark and then things are not placed properly and then you enter another person's house and it looks like there's a theme you know like everywhere this place white like okay those houses that have like white and black theme for instance and then it makes it more appealing to the eyes you know it makes people so what even if you're using your page for business because i think that's what like i even need to hammer on more if you're using your page for business or for anything your page has to have um appeal it has to appeal to the eyes and to people's emotions and all of that so if if someone comes to your page and it doesn't have beauty or it doesn't have a form of theme it just 
it says a lot about you i think it says a lot about you okay so there's this question i was going to ask earlier what devices allow light android. i think you can have lightroom on any android anyway it's available on android and it's funny enough it's the same um interface it has the same tools it has so it's available to anybody once you know the the techniques and the things that like the basic touches you know how to work with your colors and work with lights you're good to go like it's as easy as anything else though i think the reason people are people don't do these things because people are scared they look at this and they think that they are almighty because they have a particular theme or they have like nice pictures but it's very easy and it's something anybody can do by themselves all right thank you so much for being here i'm sure you've learned something from that tutorial we'll definitely follow up with more as it will be taking us through more of the you know uh, tools on lightroom for you guys to use and you know just try out and get those awesome pictures uh, that you've always wanted because i know everybody wants awesome pictures so yeah i know you've always wanted it and you have the opportunity to try it out right now remember to like and subscribe thank you so much for joining us Thanks for having me dami it was really great See you guys soon again. Like, subscribe before you go and be back for more videos on my channel. See you soon.